Hello world, Matt Sosman here, and I am really passionate about a couple things, security compliance and Microsoft Teams. If you've been following my YouTube channel, my blog, you know that is my passion and what I live for. Now, one of the things that gets me super excited about Teams is Teams Rooms. I wanna share that excitement with you today. Now, before we jump into this thing, I just want to acknowledge that times have changed. The way that we meet with each other and collaborate and communicate have changed. Case in point, I work from home. I travel. I am never in an actual office. And more and more people around the world are starting to work remotely. And that presents some challenges for us, especially when we have a meeting in person in a physical conference room, we have to accommodate anybody who might be joining virtually and remotely. So times are changing. We have to acknowledge that. And that forces us to modernize the way that we meet with each other. Hence, Microsoft Teams rooms. In fact, there's one right there in that conference table. So what is this thing? Well, I'm gonna show you a demo here in a minute, but you can make any room a Teams room. In fact, here at my house, in the next video that I'm gonna record shortly, you're gonna see one of these things, and I'm gonna convert my spare bedroom into a conference room. The best part about these devices though, folks, is that they integrate with your existing stuff. So if I already have a projector and a, and a television monitor, I can integrate with that. Existing AV equipment, I can integrate with that. And it scales to any room size. In fact, they're portable. You can see what it looks like there on the slide. Okay, the other thing about this is it runs Windows 10, so you can manage it. And it requires almost no training. You don't have to be an IT person or a tech person to use this thing, and that is the best part about it. All right, so let's jump into a demo here. Now, I'm gonna show you a real live one of these, version of these in a coming video, but first, let's just go through this little virtual demo. So here's the deal. I walk in and I want to join a meeting. Well, I walk into a conference room, I do two things. One, I plug my laptop in with the given HDMI cable or media cable. And then the second thing is I find my meeting here on the, on the screen of the console and I tap join. This device is sitting on the table. Now, once I tap join, I can then present whatever's on my laptop up on the monitor. Sure, I could do that. And we'll talk more about that here in a minute. I could even share whatever is on the monitor. I could share that over the meeting. But check this out. I could see who all's in the meeting. So on the console here on the table, I can see who's in the meeting. I can mute them. I can add other people. I can dial somebody in. I can switch the layout, maybe turn off video. I can share my desktop. I can do all sorts of different things. All right from this console on the table. Look how easy it is. It's a very simplistic interface. And there's an example of everybody that's on video. Okay, and when I'm done, I just hang up. And then once I'm done and I walk out of the conference room, there's nothing else I have to do. It's now ready to go for the next meeting. Now, what if we just wanna do an ad hoc meeting, one that's not scheduled? Well, I walk up to it, I tap on new meeting. I then invite whoever I want to invite. So I look them up in the directory there and I tap invite. And then when I do that, it's gonna add them to the meeting and we're ready to go, just like you saw before. It's, folks, it is this easy. Like I do this almost every single time I go into one of my customers that has this or I walk into a Microsoft office. It's the little luxuries in life that make meetings a lot easier. Now, here's another good example. Let's say we have somebody that we need to actually dial in. Maybe they're driving or they're, you know, they just need to call in from a regular uh, you know, landline. I can tap on the dial pad, I can dial their phone number, and easily add them to the meeting and away we go. Now, if I do have to call in a, maybe another conference bridge, maybe I'm dialing one of my customers or a vendor and they have a conference bridge, I could do that from this as well. Now, one of the coolest parts about this is proximity join. So the idea is when I walk into that room and there's a meeting taking place, it mutes my laptop or it mutes my smartphone automatically. That is the cool part. Now, the idea of this though, is I may want to also participate in the meeting on my mobile device or on my PC, but not have audio and video taking place. So maybe I just wanna share my screen 
on from my mobile device. In fact, I do this all the time. Maybe, I, maybe there's a picture or a slide on my mobile device I just want to show. I can do that. I can actually be in the, in the room at the same time as joining the meeting here, but because of the proximity beaconing, it will automatically mute me. Now, here's an example of me walking into this meeting room where there's a meeting already taking place on Teams room system, and if I tap on join, it's going to automatically mute my microphone and speakers. Okay, so we talked about companion a little bit. Uh, we talked about one touch join. Um, th this is just amazing. We'll, we'll get to inking here in just a moment. But here's something that's really cool. We've got um, uh, devices out there from our partner ecosystem that allow you on a regular whiteboard to then project whatever is on that regular whiteboard into the meeting and teams. So again, accommodating people that are remotely so they could see whatever's on the whiteboard inside the meeting. But not everybody's gonna have those devices. So what do you do? Well, that's where intelligent capture comes in. We talked about this uh, at a few conferences over the last year or so. This is amazing capability. So if you have just a standard physical whiteboard and you have um, the content cameras and you have Microsoft Teams, it will do this transparent, th transparent thing here where I can actually see through that individual and see what he's writing or she is writing on the whiteboard. So there's a great video out there from the Ignite conference and from Enterprise Connect you can go out there and watch. Uh, but this is an amazing capability. When it comes to managing these devices, remember it's Windows. And I manage these directly through the Teams admin portal in Office 365. Um, more on this in another video, but I can support conditional access policies with this, compliance policies, everything that you would expect uh, from a standard you know, Windows 10 device, if you will. Um, now, this also brings me into zero touch enrollment. When I set one of these things up, I don't have to have an IT person there. I just got to plug it in. I'm ready to go. I can do health monitoring. I can do configuration management. I can do updates remotely. I can, I can do all sorts of different management things around, around this. So for my Microsoft partners that are watching this, hey, these, this might be a great solution offering for you to offer your customers as a managed service. Hint, hint. <laughs> okay. When it comes to these devices, we've got some amazing partnerships with these folks that are on the screen that make these devices. So they come in different forms and fashions and different makes and models. And um, these are all available on the Teams Devices catalog out there on the Office 365 website. And so you can definitely check out that catalog. Go, go contact your... Um, your your uh, your vendor, your technology vendor, or um, go out to one of these websites, and you can see more about this. Okay, folks, that's eight minutes in. I want to show you a lot more, but I do want to respect your time. Hopefully, this gets you excited about Teams or Room Systems. More to come. I'm going to do more videos on this thing. But thank you again for watching. Hit me up on LinkedIn. Add me to your network. Subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And by all means, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Hit me up on LinkedIn. I'm happy to help. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.